People's Radio United. When you look back at the White House briefings, and Tim, you've seen them over and over again. Yeah. They were speechless. They didn't, they, the, the silence was thunder. They didn't even know how to respond. And we saw it firsthand from the press briefings from the White House where they silenced reporters that asked about her, that mentioned her name. And that, that's here on a... You know, the Turkish president, she asked him two questions and he cries. He cries. After that, he want to kill her for sure. America agrees. Israel brought her. This is what I think. Israel brought her from uh, from uh, Ukraine. Ukraine and uh, America agrees and in the hand over Doran because she asked him two questions and he was he cried. He cried from the questions. This is Serena Shem. So he, he felt like that showed weakness. Watch Serena Shem is gonna be a war in a whole world. Remember my word. Remember. Exactly Serena what we are is a war. Erdogan had Sassy removed from Turkey in twenty twelve when she asked him the two questions. She was physically removed from the press conference. We know Tim through what we've did that Sassy was lured lured there. And we know that many nations, organizations have blood on their hand. They were complicit. And the silence is there. The silence is thunder. Yeah, I know I know there were no condolences from the, the, the western region, but as far as like in Lebanon, did anyone from there, you know, offer a condolence or, or talk about it more than they do anywhere else? Oh, he can't move. You can't move in Lebanon. Her picture's all over the place. They know who her father is. They know. In the village, Bujibrajna, like they said, she raised our heads high. So coming yeah. from the government, Damn. have you had a Damn. condolence? Damn. Yeah. You saw the pictures. You saw the picture with who she is, okay? Too many leaders in the world, they cannot be with this pictures. Serena Shem and the man who's her, you know. Yeah, let's can we can we Sayyid explain Hassan that? Nasrallah. Can we can we explain the, that real quick? The, I'm the thinking, leader of Okay, sorry we keep getting disconnected. Um so yeah, what we were doing, we were talking about the posters that were going up and uh, I'm thinking maybe some of our audience might not understand what we're talking about. So what is it, what it is is a, a poster is a picture of Serena Shim next to I um, hope I say his name right San Nazarella and and who is he exactly he's a leader a male leader and he's a, he's a leader of Hezbollah okay he's a leader of Hezbollah and right. to put to put a, a woman's picture next to his picture is is not accepted generally correct right but that shows how great serena really was the people aren't tearing these down or attacking them right out of respect for serena and that's what we talked right. about a little bit earlier and we talked about again for any people in the audience who might not have understood what we were talking about um yeah i know hezbollah's got a bad rap in a, in a lot of western countries um but i mean they they do fight for the people um, and historically, they fought for both Christians and Muslims to protect them. So I don't. I, I mean, people need to look into their history and what they're about before judging Hezbollah, as as they do on our media here. They're immediately called a terrorist group. That's not it. That's not it. Only it. Um, let me tell you, this movement is so powerful. That's why they can't take this picture off. She's a powerful woman. It's not because it's not because this guy or that guy or whatever he's a leader or he's a hero. They nobody understand like her. She's she's the most intelligent woman. They yeah. can't they can't play. 
They can't play. They cannot. So, so having Serena as a daughter... It's easy for me. I put okay. it. I put it. It's easy for me, you know. And I know my my girl. Even in the picture, she, she, she's... She... She's a <laughs> big. She's a big leader. They're proud to be in with her. Actually. 